Hello there, Obi-Wan Jacoby here, back with another video. Sorry for the long uh, wait between videos, but today we are doing a room tour, as I promised, as we're reaching 500 subscribers. I have spoken. Hello there. All right, guys. We're back with another video. I'm so sorry for my absence lately. It's been uh, really busy. I work in healthcare, so this craziness that's going on in the world has really, really uh, kept us busy uh, as we're at the forefront uh, fighting this thing. Uh, I appreciate all of you guys being patient with me and all the support and uh, a lot of life changes coming up. Actually, uh, there will be a um, a delay in videos unfortunately since we are actually moving so what better uh, time to do a room tour than now to kind of document and show you how I have things set up right here and then hopefully once the move uh, is complete I can show you my new place and how I have everything set up there so we will start here rightfully so I think with what really uh, interested everyone which is the uh, lightsaber rack from uh, Disney's Galaxy's Edge this is a complete set uh, we can uh, see Darth Maul, B1s, Kylo Ren's and so on and these are set up by IKEA wine racks I thought that was uh, I saw it at IKEA one day and I was like oh this is gonna be great to display all of these and I really wanted to display them instead of leaving them in their boxes and down here um, it's guarded by a first order TIE fighter this is the black series uh, six inch uh, version and as you'll see in all of my room that my uh, interests kind of go all over the place so under here you'll see uh, I also have an affinity of collecting Harry Potter ones and these are ones from different uh, places. So this is from first, uh, not first four, I'm sorry. This is from uh, Noble Collection online, uh, as well as these boxes. And then some of these are from Universal Studios themselves. Uh, I really, really love how uh, they look like Ollivanders all stacked up like this together. Um, and some, they're very, very nicely uh, put together if you uh, get it here you open this box this is from noble collection it comes with this velvet uh, cover and then a little uh, certificate of authenticity and then here my favorite character in harry potter professor snape's wand so the presentation is really really nice i love it um, it's very soft velvet here um, yeah I do have uh, the entire Harry Potter one collection as well. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see uh, more in-depth reviews and views on all of this stuff that I have. I just will show you just kind of a, um, a general oversense of what's going on here in this room. So up here, I guess this is a good place to start uh, or to continue. This is my Sideshow Collectibles pieces, uh, there are statues, very, very nice quality, Princess Leia, K2SO, he's huge, and his lights, um, his eyes light up, which is really cool. I love this piece, Ray. the likeness is unreal. And we have BB-8 alongside with her. Then we have one of the most sought after uh, sideshow collectible pieces, statues. This is Darth Talon, all oh, her glory. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. I got it from a collector and he actually cut me a really good deal. So shout out to him, you know who you are. Then we have also Asajj, uh, not Asajj, I'm sorry, Ara Singh. Beautiful piece as well. This is the exclusive with the uh, clone Kamala commander helmet. 
And I, actually this is the piece that I started off with. The Sideshow, this is Shakti. It's our light up blade, beautiful, beautiful piece. And actually these two have light up blades, but they're battery powered. So she's connected through the wire. So that's why uh, it's easier to have her light up. And actually we'll go here. And we'll just show you a quick pan uh, of my glass shells. We have a lot of unleashed figures and pieces. If you guys want to pause the video, actually, we'll give you a better, better view. So if you guys want to pause the video, you can for more in-depth view. Vader and Kylo Ren, these are the center pieces. A bunch of Kodo Bikia. Um, this is uh, Legends, Jaina Solo. Really, really love how the lightsaber looks like it's floating in her hand. And then we have some Legos. Don't really have a system of uh, displaying these uh, Legos. I just kind of put them anywhere that they fit. But I do try to uh, separate some of the uh, main figure lines. So like the gentle giant statues are here, which I really, really love. Um, I keep saying really, really. I, uh, I enjoy the gentle giant pieces. This is really, really, again, really, really beautiful piece of uh, Princess Leia. And then we have Zeb with all his colors. But I was saying I, I enjoy the gentle giant figures and pieces because they're actually affordable. Um, not that any of this is overly affordable, but uh, for what you get with a resin statue, uh, as compared to sideshow collectibles as well, uh, they're very high quality pieces and not that expensive as you would think. This is the bust line that I have. I don't have a complete collection, but I do have my all my Twi'leks here. So we have another Darth Talon piece. Ara Singh, not Ara Singh. I keep saying Ara Singh. Did I say that over there? Yeah, no. That is not Ara Singh, guys. <laughs> Ara Singh is the bounty hunter. This is Isla Secura. So I get my A's mixed up, but yeah. Ayla Sakura. So this is Ayla Sakura, not Ara Singh. Correction, but um, Harris and Dula. Then here we have really my uh, prized possession in my collection is Boba Fett, and it's signed. You can see the picture here. Uh, he does not do any more signings, so I'm really, really proud to have this. We have uh, Greedo also signed. You can see the picture in the back. Then we have my Qui-Gon Jinn little shrine. This is the Master Replica's uh, blade and his Gentle Giant bust. And then we have here some more Gentle Giant busts. Moving on, we have more. Let's see. We'll move this uh, bean back out of the way. And beautiful piece by Gentle Giant. Another Gentle Giant piece with Darth Maul. And then the Force Unleashed. Then we have a lone bust here. The Range Trooper, and then some random Lego here. Finally, we can open this. We have my Bounty Hunter Gentle Giant line. I am missing Boba Fett and Dengar to complete the set. Uh, probably get them in the future. Not smart to get it now on the move. I really, really love this piece. Very beautiful piece. Then we have some more Lego down here. Uh, Lego I was super into and then I had to just force myself out because 
It's a never-ending hobby, and it gets really expensive quick. But here, up here, guarded by a Kylo Ren exclusive Toys R Us poster, RIP Toys R Us, and I have these Lego minifigs all lined up. Love how this turned out. I bought this uh, display piece from Amazon.com, actually. It was an artist who uh, put it together. And here I have my pins. This is from Galaxy's Edge. Those are all the Sabi's workshop pins. Uh, one for each build. And then we have here uh, Thrawn exclusive San Diego Comic-Con pin and some random other pins and then we have a random Lego piece exclusive to Toys R Us. Now I had these all, these are all sitting and pegged in this Lego tape. I live in California, prone to earthquakes. Unfortunately I didn't have these, I didn't have that tape yet and I had them just displayed like that and an earthquake happened and as you can probably guess all of these figures toppled over so it was such a pain to put them back up but I'm glad we have them back up then we have our uh, triple force Friday posters framed and we will start here actually so uh, I am an avid collector and reader of graphic novels and comic books so you can see these are all sitting on my Kallaxes uh, from Ikea. We can start up the top here, the sixth gun guarded by Batman, the Arkham City uh, statue, as well as Joker up there. And some more video game memorabilia, Skyrim. I'm also really big on video games. So we can go from left to right um, these are humanoids, uh, European comics, Osaji, Ojimbo. I didn't, I wasn't able to get the hardcover collection, so I just opted for the paper pack because those are so hard to find now. My Valiant collection, I do have a complete Valiant Deluxe Edition collection. Some Valiant Omnibuses, or Omnibuy. Some random. These are like un... Filable. I don't I don't know where to put them. So I just put them together all of the independent. I guess I have my absolutes here Absolute swamp thing day tripper one of the best stories I've ever read really in a graphic novel format I have the original Ninja Turtles These are the black and white versions oversized up to volume 6. There's a volume 7 coming out avatar absolutes more absolutes here Prometheus Pretty out of print, kind of hard to find, but they're in deluxe editions now. Some absolute Batmans. And again, if you guys you want to comment below, let me know if you want to see anything in more depth. I'm more than happy to see it or to show it to you guys. This is absolute why The Last Man, such a great uh, series. I am looking forward to the uh, TV show, the rumor TV show, Power Rangers. Jeff Lemire and Descender, one of my favorite authors. Then we have some more humanoids. Uh, these are the deluxe editions, and these are just the regular standard size hardcovers. Sometimes these go out and out of print real quick, so I just opt for the uh, hardcovers. My Image Comics Saga, one of the best series to date. Brian K. Vaughn, who wrote it, great. Fear Agent, Fear Agent by Rick Remender, also really great. And then Sandman, Absolute Sandman, no, it needs no introduction. Um, and moving this here, we have some more uh, great uh, authors and stories. And then we have Preacher. And then here, as you can tell, I'm very, I'm a big video game nerd as well, so we have some art books here, Splatoon from Japan, right there, Dragon Quest, that's Okami, um, beautiful, beautiful art book here, and my favorite video game series of all time, Zelda, and then my other vi favorite video game series of all time, Final Fantasy. So moving this, 
usually I come in with these bean bags and sit around and pull up a graphic novel, art book, my coffee, and read in this nook. Pretty cool. And here we have beautiful piece by Sideshow Collectibles. This is Darth Vader. So menacing. Love how the base lights up and his saber and then how the poster, the Vader Memorial poster is right behind him. So I kind of love this shot here where you can see Anakin right here. Vader, Vader. As you can tell, Vader is my favorite character in Star Wars. I have a little uh, Minoc from Galaxy's Edge. Then we have my Galaxy's Edge memorabilia here. So we have uh, Han Solo's dice, the Jaipur necklace. We open it up. We have a bunch of uh, Galaxy's Edge pins, stuffed animal, the bobblehead from Rogue One, Sith Chalice, Sabacc, the card game, more dice, uh, chance cubes. That's pretty cool. And then this is, um, if you guys don't know, this is the uh, gift card that you can refill the balance of in Galaxy's Edge. So uh, you go around and this is the Batu medallion. And you can actually buy, purchase stuff, just load it up and purchase through that, which is kind of cool. Great idea. We have the Jedi and Sith holocrons with its crystals, respective crystals. Um, I do have a complete collection of every voice of the Kyber crystals, and I have them labeled here, as you can see. Um, but the only one that I don't have is the black Kyber crystal. Uh, I don't, I couldn't find it obviously and I don't want to pay scalpers price for it so I'm satisfied with just these. Now if you turn here we have some more um, random stuff. This is a whistle from uh, um, Galaxy's Edge, the little um, resistance, this is really cool, logo medallion. And then this is when Disney used to sell scrap metal for Sabi's workshop individually. So I have the Rancor Truth and I bought a couple of others thinking I was going to come back and budget, <laughs> but they stopped that real quick. And then more stuff to do this. So here we have some posters, Vader Black Series. Lightsaber, Zelda, Luigi's Mansion, and Mario Sunshine. Then up here, these are all Billy bookcases. And what I did was I extended it twice, all the way up to the ceiling. And I have a hodgepodge of things. Um, okay, check out here some ships, Star Wars ships, Lego as well as uh, Hasbro and Kenner figure or ships. Millennium Falcon, Solo's Millennium Falcon. And more Lego here. Then we have my Star Wars new canon collection. This is in chronological order guarded by a little baby Yoda from Black Series. And yes, so these are chronological, chronologically uh, set up. I have read every single book. I am currently reading the uh, third uh, Thrawn book by Timothy Zahn, the new Thrawn trilogy, so Thrawn Treason. This is the latest novel that came out, Shadowfall. Up to Rise of Skywalker. And then this is an exclusive Thrawn Treason um, cover uh, I got from San Diego Comic-Con. It's signed by Timothy Zahn. Down here we have the YA Star Wars books. And sorry if it's a little messy. Uh, I Again, I'm packing up <laughs> as we're preparing for our move. This is a lightsaber that I designed my own in high school. This is completely made out of metal. It's pretty, pretty heavy. It's like five pounds. Pretty cool, but um, yeah, with this belt clip and all. Really proud of that. Some more new canon books. 
And then down here are the Star Wars comics that I still have to read and catch up on. As you can tell, there's a lot to catch up on. I've just been accumulating it. Oh, my Sideshow Collectibles uh, Chewy came with a broken bow caster, so then I uh, called them. They were really cool about it. They actually sent me a replacement, so that's what's on the figure right now. So I just kept that here because I don't know what to do with it. Then other stuff that I'm currently reading, Superman for All Seasons, I'm playing uh, Paper Mario, The Origami King, really cool, and I'm reading some manga. And then these are my Star Wars reference books. And our books, and it goes all the way here. And it's guarded by a little walker there. Then some video games I've been playing at, trying to uh, chip away in. And then we have the start of my Legends collection. And these are also in chronological order. So it goes all the way. New Jedi Order. This is where I stop. <laughs> and then we have uh, some more Legends, like Jedi Apprentice, uh, some Legends comics, The Clone Wars, Timothy Zahn's uh, graphic novel trilogy. Pretty cool stuff. And then we have here just random stuff here. Question mark block and then some random Disney stuff. Then we have some more video game art books as well as my Harry Potter reference books as well as other movies like Hobbit and Game of Thrones. We move here, I just got this in, which is my Boba Fett custom helmet or the, the uh, prototype armor. Uh, Helsing Deluxe Edition, so this is the start of my manga collection. The Last of Us Part 2, currently working on this. Really, really great game. Love, love, love Last of Us. Full Metal Alchemist, Tokyo Ghoul set, I Am Hero, Berserk the Deluxe Editions, Monster, 20th Century Boy, going all the way up, we have Vinland Saga. So, here we have my Civil War banner, and my Mario Kart banner, and then we have my Disney Infinity collection. I do have the entire Star Wars set. I almost completed the Disney Infinity ones, but I stopped collecting those. And going back here so we can see how the room is set up, we have more. Uh, glass cabinets here, a middle row, and then where we started over there. So we can just go row by row. So here, we have some more manga, Berserk, more of my graphic novels, Transformers, IDW Ninja Turtles, great series, G.I. Joe, also great series. Some more manga, Sin City, Naruto, Bone, really great series as well. Some oversized Rick Remender stuff, Black Science, awesome, awesome series. This is complete now. Deadly Class, I'm waiting for the third one. Really, really great um, series, I love it. And then my Epic Collection, my Marvel Epic Collection. It's a great way to collect all of the old Marvel um, history uh, without dishing out all of the, to get an omnibus. Great deal. So currently reading Thor, Incredible Hulk, Fantastic Four. We have Mike Magnolia's Hellboy. Man, I'm waiting for a Lobster Johnson <laughs> so they can uh, finish off collecting those instead of in trade paperbacks. And then here are my Star Wars comics traits that I've read. And then some more Marvel, manga, Massive, and Strangers in Paradise. I have like random stuff here, like Private Eye. This is great, uh, but it's just a, a strange format, so I have to just put it like this to actually get it. And. Moving here, now we're in the middle, we have the Falcon, 
and we have a Sideshow Collectible exclusive Anakin Skywalker, Darth Vader actually, if you want to be technical with his yellow eyes. And we have a life-size Vader bust. Love this piece. And we have on top the Black Series Vader helmet, Black Series Stormtrooper, and Luke Skywalker helmet sitting on top of Infinity Gauntlet. This is the uh, complete um, saga on hardcover. This is standard size. And then this is also Civil War. And we have Grievous. And Jango Fett's little uh, Nerf dart blasters. And then we have my Marvel side of Omnibus, or Omnibuy again. This is the complete X-Men. An oversized, so far an oversized format. Huge, huge X-Men fan. So, and then Akira, Spider-Man. So these I, I have set up here because these are the current ones that I'm reading. Uh, Boba Fett Black Series helmet. Check my channel out for a review on that. Although the music's really loud in that video, sorry about that. But Avengers, Thor, Monster, Marvel Monsters, Conan, some great stuff. The last row down here. So like you can see, I, I like uh, utilizing my calyxes this way. I don't like double stacking, but if I double stack, I'm kind of facing each other so that I can find what I want to read easily. Finally going here, this is my DC side. So up here we have some random manga, uh, Blade of the Immortal. I'm excited for the deluxe ones that are coming out. And up here, different memorabilia, Astro Boy, Omnibus, Lone Wolf and Cub. Batman's. This is the start of my DC. The AC just turned on. Then we have here DC Rebirth. Again, you can pause if you want. This is a, a C GC uh, number one of Snyder's Batman run, uh, first edition, uh, issue one. More Batman. Invincible, great, great series. Just recently finished that American Vampire as well. The Donald Duck, Carl Bar Carl Barks, Donald Duck as well as Don Rota. These are great. Some more manga, some more DC. And then finally, you can see I am a very big Zelda fan as well. So some Zelda posters behind there, those are from the symphony and these pieces all are from, what's it called? Uh, first four figures. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. This is Zelda, some Triforce, and if you look, turn this on, then you have Majora's Mask right, behind, right in front of the Majora's Mask poster. So this was uh, the Symphony of the Goddess. I went twice, really beautiful. Um, Really enjoyed the music, Zelda music, Zelda video games, oh, it's so good. And then we have Infinity Gauntlet poster and we have some Zelda posters up here. And the start of my Amiibo collection, which as you guessed it, I do have a complete collection of Amiibo. So we'll span out here. They're on the spice rack displays from Amazon. They're like five bucks or eight bucks each. But yeah, I opened that door 
for Amiibo and I cannot close it. I need, <laughs> now I need to finish the collection. So yes, it's complete so far. And um, these are some of the random Amiibo from Japan. Back here, Box Boy. And right here. Yeah, and they're all guarded by my Splatoon pillows. So we'll do a quick pan here. Some Jurassic Park Kenner figures. And some more random Yokai Watch. Some comic book, She Hulk, Storm, Nintendo. More Nintendo, first four figures. Luigi's Mansion, Crash Bandicoot, Okami. God of War, these are all like special editions from uh, video game, uh, big box editions. Some more uh, comic book stuff. I won't open these for now, just for time's sake. And then my Zelda Shrine. You know, some special edition, um, what's it called, 3DSs? And they're sitting on these great display stands from Rose Color Gaming. And we have some more first four figures. Some Nendroids. And then these are the boxed, boxed editions of the remaining 3DSs. And we show the Amiibo. So you can see right now, kind of just show you how the room is set up. It leads to this nook, right? So this is the middle. We already went through either side. And we go through the resistance base. And this is what you guys Saw a lot on my Instagram if you're following me. The complete Black Series line. And this is the red box figures. I really love how this turned out. They're all numbered, look like a library of figures. Just slide them out to see which ones are which. And I have it set up as like a little sitting area. So I sit here with my little companion here. I read or I just look. Have a cup of coffee and look at all this greatness <laughs> or craziness, depending on who's seeing this. So this is, I have here displayed under here, the uh, Millennium Falcon uh, Lego set, which is the largest Lego set so far and some more Galaxy's Edge merch. Now some vintage collection um, ships my baby Yoda and this is where I put the Galaxy's Edge uh, boxes the lightsaber boxes uh, the crates that they come with kind of like how they tower looks like in the universe my friend bought me this for my birthday and another friend bought me this as well and then we have the first order flag and we have BB-8 here and my brother bought me this a long time ago. Really love it, so nicely displayed. We have some more uh, Galaxy's Edge merch as well as um, Lego. We have the uh, Royal Guard helmet. And we have some Disney uh, store exclusives, the Elite series. I was collecting these for a little bit. I was doing all villains and then I just kind of stopped because they got to be too much with the Sphero droids. Some more old school Black Series figures, the black boxes, prototype Boba Fett. And I love these little micro machine uh, from my kid days. 
and then some exclusive uh, Disney droids set. And then we have here in the corner, just the uh, bags that you get from Galaxy's Edge or different places, uh, lightsaber cases. And then on this wall here, we have the complete for the new films, all of the Disney three and three quarter inch figures. The new Disney films. Then we have some black series line, six inch line. This is a lot of the uh, personality chips. This is each personality chip from Galaxy's Edge. This you can insert into your build a droid and change its personality, which I thought was really cool and neat. Star Wars backpacks. That's the build a droid that I was talking about. I have two, I have one built here with the bag and then one right here, two R2 units. I haven't built a BB-8 one because Disney's Galaxy Edge closed after that. So gotta go back whenever things calm down again. These are already packed up. These are my vintage collection. Um, Star Wars three and three quarter inch uh, figures so I will be displaying those in the new place um, I just got to figure out how to do them but it's almost a complete set I'm missing a couple figures and then also uh, this is episode one two and three as uh, well as the power of the force line then we have some exclusive figures here just random uh, exclusive black series figures and then up here, we have my walker guarding everything. And finally, I'm just gonna show you this room just because um, for completion's sake, but it's really a mess right now. This is my video game closet. You can see it's a, it's a lot, big mess. I am an avid video game collector as well, but I'm currently packing this stuff up for the move. So we have here the entire Fantastic Collection Nintendo 64 set with the Zelda Gold Edition as well as the Pikachu Edition. We have also a complete Nintendo Switch Lite collection. Um, we'll close this. A Vectrex, a retro video, uh, a retro TV to play all those video games. I do have a complete Zelda collection, uh, all in box uh, from every version of Zelda that's come out so far. And then we have here Virtual Boy, we have all my video game systems down here, GameCube, Dreamcast, Famicom, Super Nintendo, Nintendo. If you look here, it's kind of a mess right now, but then we have my Wii U video games, my Wii video games, 3DSs, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, Sega CD, even some um, import uh, Saturn games. We got you with 3DO, The Legend of Zelda, hardcover, strategy guide set, PS4 big box editions, PS3 big box editions, on my PS4 collection here, my PS3 collection, I have here also my strategy guide collection, PS Vita, PlayStation 1. Sega, C, uh, Sega Genesis, a 32X, and a Master System, and a complete uh, Virtual Boy collection, especially the Elusive Jack Brothers. More Zelda games, GameCube, the Orange Edition, GameCube collection, Nintendo 64 collection up here. I almost have a complete set, I'm missing about 50 or so games. The 64 is very important to me. Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo, the Black Sega Dreamcast. Then up here we have my Xbox 360 Star Wars Edition, Breath of the Wild Big Box Edition, 3DS and Nintendo Switch Big Box Editions. And then down here we have Nintendo Switch and 3DS. DS games, a couple arcade sticks, a Dreamcast keyboard, 
down here I have Atari Lynx collection, some more Zelda games, Xbox 360 and Xbox original. They're double stacked because I ran out of room. I have the Game Boy Advance system uh, collection as well as the PSP. Also big box edition and then finally we have the Sega CDX down here and still packing it up and then a complete Animal Crossing Amiibo card collection. I was shifting through them so I can invite villagers to my new Animal Crossing game. And that's it. Thank you guys so much um, for your support and patience with me uh, through these trying times, really. I'm really, really humbled by all of your guys' support and continued support even though there's been a lack of videos. So I appreciate it. I promise I will rectify this once the move uh, happens and uh, once I have everything set up. So there may be a delay in videos again. But again, thank you guys so much. And as always, this is the way I have spoken and may the force be with you always.